It's Friday, January 2nd, 2015. Happy New Year. And let's talk about what happened this week over at xdadevelopers.com. First up, device updates. As I've mentioned previously, OnePlus has started working on a new ROM for the One since their relationship with Cyanogen has been rocky lately. Well, as of this week, they've released an early alpha build of Lollipop that is Cyanogen mod free. It's currently not terribly stable. The camera and video recording are having some problems, apps are crashing, and the capacitive keys don't turn off when you use the software keys, but they are still working on it. So if you've got the OnePlus One, it might be worth taking a look at this, though I don't think I'm gonna be flashing it to my device quite yet. Again, as I mentioned previously, Android One is expanding to new areas, and a new device was announced this week, the Symphony Roar A50. For what it is, the specs look pretty decent, and it's going to sell for about the equivalent of 110 US dollars. So if you're in Bangladesh and you need a new device, be on the lookout for the Symphony Roar. It's supposed to be available sometime in the middle of January. Speaking of new devices though, Samsung announced an update to the Galaxy Note 4 this week. It's going to come with the Snapdragon 810, which should help the battery life and the performance a little bit, as well as LTE Advanced Tri-Band with Carrier Aggregation, which allows it to download at up to 300 megabits per second. Wow. We're not sure where the device is going to be available, or when, or how much it's going to be, but be on the lookout if it sounds interesting to you. Speaking of Samsung though, we spoke before about the Galaxy S5 receiving an update to Lollipop in Poland, and as of this week that update has started showing up for users in Spain as well. Interesting it's taking them this long to roll it out, because the Poland update was nearly a month ago, but still, at least they are working on it. If you'd like to learn more about that though, links down in the description. Now moving on to unofficial updates, this week ports of CM12 showed up for the Xiaomi Mi 3, thanks to developers from the Cancro CM team, and the Samsung Galaxy S3 Neo, thanks to XDA senior member Rox. The Xiaomi port has issues with uh, Bluetooth, NFC, the camcorder, and USB on the go, so do keep that in mind, but the Neo port seems pretty close to being daily driver ready. Three MediaTek devices, the Newman N1, Micromax A110, and the ZTE Grand V970, all received builds of KitKat this week as well, thanks to XDA-recognized contributors Super Dragon PT and XDA forum members Koos1 and LingFood. Since these devices were basically left behind by their manufacturers, it is nice to see the community stepping up and continuing to support them, so thanks for that guys. Now speaking of updates though, a lot of people have noticed that Lollipop came with a bit of a nasty memory leak. According to the Android issue tracker though, the problem has been identified, a patch has been written, and the issue has been marked as future release, which means the update should be bundled up with an upcoming version of Android. There's obviously no way of knowing exactly what version of Android is going to be coming next, when it's going to be coming, anything like that, and since it is a relatively minor change that it's going to require to fix it, it's possible that it'll just be something like 5.0.3. But either way, don't give up hope on Lollipop just yet. And finally, to wrap things up, there were three other videos posted to XDA TV this week. TK did an app review of Push Bullet, then I did a comparison between the Shield tablet and the Nexus 9, and TK did another app review of Koala Phone Launcher. Four videos were posted to the XDA Roundtable channel as well, and they were all presentations from XDA DevCon, so make sure to take a look at those if they look interesting to you. But you know what? That's going to be about all from me for today. You can find the links to all the stories I talked about down in the video description, as well as the links to my YouTube channels. You should subscribe over there if you're interested. Remember, if you like this video, leave us a like down below the video, and you can subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.